Greetings everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this channel that is dedicated to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you to all my regular subscribers and those who just tuning in first time. Welcome. As I prayed with another believer in Christ, the Lord gave me this word on the 2nd of October 2023. And it was about Hollywood and an eminency of its collapse. He gave me previously, I think, at least two words about this industry. And this particular time, it started with the following words. I'm opening the secrets, ugly secrets that were hidden, the evil behind productions of movies. In a vision, I see a backside of a 3D object representing a movie, a glamour on the front side in front of the public, and then this object turns in front of me. And the back side is shown to me. It looks like a cavity in the back. And all the ugliness of the movie making is shown to me. And then I hear behind the scenes deals. Inspired by the evil ones. In the vision I see literally demons on people whispering them something. And it's about movie making. Even the scripts basically given by the demons. They were literally sitting on people, more than one. Then I see a fire and a mountain. As this mountain is turning in front of me, I see a word, Hollywood, where this word is. I'm, I'm talking about the letters, actually, the mountain where these letters are located. I'm not sure if this is a physical or spiritual, but I felt like this fire and some smoke was somewhere where the letters LL were. Then the fire and smoke were shown to me on this mountain where the letters are, and they looked real to me in this vision. And then I hear, glory is falling on this industry with my people coming up. New movies will become popular. New faces. Modesty will be valued. I see dresses, and they are changing. And in a vision, I see a woman is in a beautiful dress, but her attire is covering body parts that usually were open to the view. And then the Lord continues, values are changing. The truth will be told. People will know it. People are going to be delivered in the movie theaters. Choices will be changed. New tastes acquired. Bombardment will be stopped. And the understanding is given that this is about the movie choices that demons push people to watch. So the overwhelming action horror. And as I was saying this, when I was recording it, the Lord added these specific words. Jezebel pushing agenda will be changed. Financing will be given. Lucrative industry. And then the Lord downloaded that investors will be investing in this new type of movies. And I see words. Huge success, beauty in modesty will be praised, gentleness, true heroes, evangelists, true stories, rescue operations, the truth behind. And he gave me an understanding that the truth behind is about what was hidden for so long. This subject ends with these particular words. So much to see, so much to do. And then the Lord gave me these words, healthy eating habits. In a vision, I see people are shrinking. As a side note, our Lord gave a word to another child of God prior to getting this word about this side of the ministry that people will have miraculous healings of their bodies and a miraculous loss of weight on the spot as a part of them. And then Lord gave me two words, obesity and disease. And he gave me an understanding that the obesity is a demonic oppression. He shows in a vision demonic entities working as a group to put people in a bondage. And then he says, to put them asleep, I am removing the oppression. And the word freedom is shown to me. Then I see small pieces of a modern woman's attire where everything is in the open view. And he gave these words, witchcraft, curses. And the Lord gave me an, uh, an understanding that it is like wearing curses. And he showed to me young girls wearing this revealing curse type of attire that the spirit of promiscuity can enter because that's 
opens basically a door. Throughout the message, the Lord gave specific revelations to this child of God and that this believer's line of clothing is a blessing. People will feel differently wearing an attire from God's anointed businesses. I want you to remember this. So you will support these businesses will come up on the stage and very, very soon because they will be wearing blessings. So if you buy this specific attire from people anointed like this child of God, you will be blessed just by wearing it. Pieces of clothing will be prayed over by the creators and anointed by the Lord from the early stage of production. Hallelujah. The next word was given to me on the 31st of March. And so this word was given after the word that he gave me. Uh, I posted, I think, yesterday about XRP prices. And it started with the vision of 0.11. To understand the significance of this number, 0.11, please watch the previous post that I made on this channel. And if this content helps you in any way, please click on the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share. And remember that I'm not a financial advisor, so please take these words to our Lord Jesus to get all your confirmations. And then the Lord continues with these words. XRP. I will drop it for you to pick up and load your wallets. Wait and watch how the wicked rage when money leaves their pockets and comes into your wallets. Kingdom on earth as it is in heaven will be built. A lot of work ahead. As I was speaking these words, I see XRP again. And the Lord continues, bankers in your own right. ZRX. It will be revealed later how valuable it is. In a vision, I see 300s like 300s like for example if we say a number somewhere in 300s something like that and then 375 so 375 and then zircon encrusted beauty rubies instead of ice precious rubies and in a vision i see a ring just a regular ring and then a word encrusted. The understanding is given that they are like diamonds on that ring and it is in the nose of some kind of an animal. And then I hear the words domestic animal and in front of me I see a nose with stones like someone glued stones to this nose. And mind you this animal is live and it's brown with long ears. And the Lord said it will lead you where you have to go and time help. And I see again ZRX. And then the Lord concentrates my view on letter Z and gives me an understanding that it is the last letter of an alphabet. And then letter X is in front of me and the words marks the spot are given. So X marks the spot. And then I hear keep it, hold it, trading, valuable, untraceable. He brings to my remembrance a Bible verse from Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous. And that was the end of this word. Our warfare is intensifying. And we have to remember that our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the rulers, against the powers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, as it says in chapter 6 of Ephesians. But we have our Lord Jesus Christ, who is in us. He said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So, if you do not have our Lord Jesus as your Savior. I invite you to repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, please forgive my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God and died on the cross for me. 
and in three days you rose again. And now you are sitting on the right side of our Father in heaven. I thank you for everything that you have done. And I lay down all my sins at your feet. In Jesus' precious name, amen. If you do not have a Bible, please get a Bible. You will need to have it so you can read the Word of God. It is a living Word of God with everything that we need to know what was, what's going on, and what will be in the end. But the most important thing is to know who our Lord Jesus is. And to all of my dear listeners, if you haven't started reading the Bible from Genesis this year, please join me because Lord pressed upon me to tell you about it. So I am calling you to join me and start reading our Bible from the beginning. Remember, God loves you. I'll talk to you later. I love you all. Bye.